I'm continuing my discussion of the Federal Bureau of Disinformation. And what the later latest Twitter file shows is the, the sort of sausage making mechanism in which how all this works really. And it turns out that you do have the FBI and you do have Twitter, but they're not the only players in this operation. So turning to Michael Schellenberger, in September 2020, Roth, who's Roth? Yoel Roth, the, uh, the guy at Twitter, one of the chief censors at Twitter, along with Vijay Agade, and of course the CEO at the time, Parag Agarwal. In September 2020, Roth participated in an Aspen Institute a, quote, tabletop exercise on a potential hack and dump operation related to Hunter Biden. The goal was to shape how the media covered it and how social media carried it. So now we bring in the Aspen Institute, a supposedly a think tank, a nonprofit. I've actually spoken a couple of times at the Aspen Institute. In any event, the Aspen Institute here becomes part of the censorship network. And what do they do? They have a sort of a seminar and they invite all the social media gurus, all the top people at Twitter, probably Facebook, Meta, and also Google and YouTube, all these guys. And then they invite people in the mainstream media. And then they run this kind of uh, sort of exercise. It's almost like we're going to run a kind of trial run. Let's talk about Russian disinformation and what we can do as a media to make sure it's not amplified, what we can do on social media to block it. So in other words, they're rehearsing how the censorship regime can work. So the FBI is kind of the manipulator. Uh, and, and the reason all of this is important is because this is sort of the way that it works. This tabletop exercise, by the way, was organized by Vivian Schiller, the former CEO of NPR. She's also former head of news at Twitter. She's former general manager of the New York Times. She's former chief digital officer at NBC News. This is a small fraternity of corrupt people. They organize these kinds of things and they basically, if you're wondering how does the media coordinate, how do, you, how do they all know to suppress the Hunter Biden story? Because they go to meetings like this beforehand where they're instructed, be on the lookout for Russian propaganda. And the fact of it, there's no Russian propaganda. The Hunter Biden story is completely legitimate. The FBI knows it's legitimate. And if these media organizations even moved a toe or a finger, they would know it's legitimate. So they're all collectively participating in a lie. But the reason that they can justify the lie is this. The FBI will send, quote, intel to Twitter. Now, what's the intel? The intel is nothing more than a link to an article in The Hill or The Washington Post. And I'm not just saying, I'm not just making those up. There's the FBI actually linked to an article in The Hill and to The Washington Post. The article in The Hill and The Washington Post, by the way, The Hill was quoting The Washington Post, was a complete lie. And it basically said that, quote, the laptop, Giuliani's leak of the laptop was, was basically driven by the Russians. So either Giuliani was an agent of the Russians, perhaps, or maybe the Russians had somehow planted this false information on Giuliani. So the Hill article is a lie. The Washington Post article that the Hill article was based on is a lie. The FBI takes the lie, which they know to be a lie, and they send it over to Twitter saying, guys, look, check it out over here. This shows you that we're dealing here with, with Russian intel. And then Twitter goes, oh, wow, Russian intel. We can't let this on, you know, on Twitter. So they block the Hunter Biden story. So this is a sickening uh, detailed account of how this stuff works. Now, look, I do want to make the broader point that I'm not saying that, that everyone at the FBI or the ordinary FBI agent is themselves corrupt. They might be. I'm not saying they're not either. But what I'm saying is most likely they're the, the ordinary guy is just being, let's call him a good German. Uh, by that, I mean he's following orders. Um, these are hierarchical organizations. I mean, we have hierarchical organizations like the military. Well, frankly, the Catholic Church, uh, the, um, uh, the FBI. And so these are people who want to keep paying the mortgage and they don't want any trouble and they'll do what they're told. The corruption is at the top. 
And, and I think this is something that began with Obama. So we have gangsterism and we have disinformation. I really don't know if this is an organization that can be salvaged through some sort of reform. Uh, if I think the FBI needs to be taken down, dismantled, maybe rebuilt uh, into a new type of organization, but I don't think it's gonna have, well, certainly not my trust, but the public trust, uh, if it isn't reconstructed fundamentally in this way. <laughs>